evening, everybody. My name is Drew. I'm one of the pastors at Grace United Methodist Church, and I wanted to show you something. This is a beautiful little dish. And uh, on it is a, a painting of a church. This is Trinity Episcopal Church in Upperville, Virginia. I'm one of the pastors at Grace United Methodist Church, which is not in Upperville, Virginia. It's in Manassas. But I used to work at a church called Trinity Episcopal Church in Upperville, Virginia. Before I was a pastor, actually, I started there uh, as uh, a church musician. Uh, I was a soloist in the choir. And then uh, the, a guy named Christian Myers let me lead the children's choir. And then I was his church music intern. And then they let me lead the youth group. And then they made me the Christian educator of the entire church. Well, the children's Christian educator. Uh, that is the church. This is the church where I developed a call for ministry. At Grace, we've been doing a study on the nature and mission of the church. And it's just made me thankful for the church in my life. And so I wanted to give thanks for this church tonight. So all my Trinity friends that are still out there, thank you for the ways in which God used you to um, call me and form me and send me. I was not fully formed when I was here. Uh, I'm not fully formed now, but uh, but there have been some improvements since then. So, uh, and I credit that to God's grace through Trinity Episcopal Church in Upperville, Virginia. It's not far away. Uh, and so if you are near Upperville and looking for a church, I encourage you to check them out um, and tell, tell them that Drew sent you. Um, tonight, I wanted to offer a hymn that's an, kind of an ode to the church, but I've always gotten, uh, for much of my life, I had the title wrong. The church is one foundation. For a long time, I thought that was the church is one foundation. That's not, that's not it. That's not the title of the hymn. The title is the church is one foundation. It's possessive, not, uh, not the church is. This is how it goes. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven, he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood, he bought her, and for her life, he died. Another verse says, Mid toil and tribulation and tumult of her war, she waits the consummation of peace forevermore, till with the vision glorious her longing eyes are blessed and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. Let me share one more verse with you. Though with a scornful wonder we see her sore oppressed, by schisms rent asunder, by heresies distressed, yet saints their watch are keeping. Their cry goes up, how long? And soon the night of weeping shall be the morn of song. I offer that to you, the church who's about to be the church at rest when you go to bed, even if you're in the midst of the night of weeping, even as the church is rent asunder and in rough shape throughout the world. Soon the night of weeping shall be the morn of song and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. It's a good hymn. It's a good Anglican Episcopal hymn, uh, but we have it in our hymnal too. The last thing I want to leave you with is just a prayer for your night. This comes from the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer, from the service of Compline or night prayer. Let us pray. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen, and good night.